welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload so for today's video it's that time of the month we are going to be doing my April favorites oh my goodness can you believe it's May already this year, honestly, is going so fast. I feel like I say that all the time about every single month. Um, but I feel like January and February kind of dragged. And now it's just like zooming past. And before you know it, it's going to be like September. So yeah, it's going very fast at the moment. We're going to be talking about all the products that I was loving throughout April. And I'm not going to lie, a lot of the products that I included in my favourites last month, I was kind of looking through last month's list and I was I didn't know what to include in this month's um, favourites at first. But then I did sift through and I did realise a couple of products that I have absolutely been loving. But the majority of stuff last month I am still very much enjoying. I just didn't want to show you the same stuff twice. So I have got a few other items that I did use quite a lot this month that I want to talk about um, so let's get into it so firstly we have the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 120 this is what the packaging looks like and this is what the shade 120 looks like and then underneath the shade um, you have a little mirror and a sponge but I've never used the sponge um I bought this back in February I believe and to be honest I kind of used it in my full face first impressions and then just put it in my drawer and didn't really use it until this month I started picking up more pressed powders rather than loose powders because pressed powders are a bit more convenient and because I don't wear my makeup for a very long time when I'm filming during the week Pressed powders are just a little bit more easier to reach for, whereas if I need my makeup to last longer, I will use a loose powder um, to increase longevity. But when I'm just filming, like today, for instance, it's a Tuesday evening, when I'm filming on the week nights i just use a pressed powder it's 10 times easier now this is very expensive for a pressed powder it is actually a foundation powder but to be honest with you i never use foundation powders as a foundation i always use it as an extra layer of coverage over the top of my foundation and concealer because I'm all about full coverage. I do have acne, I do get scarring and redness and stuff. So I do love to have a lot of coverage. So this product has just been really good at giving me that extra layer of coverage. It does smooth my skin. I feel if I just come close, can you see how I just, I feel like my skin just looks really smooth and it does have a lot to do with this powder because my natural skin has a lot of texture. So you know a product's good when it makes your whole entire face look really smooth. I know it's expensive. Isn't it like £27 or something? It is ridiculous. But I did get it when it had a little bit of a sale. I think I paid about £22 for it. So not too bad, but also really expensive as well. If you are intrigued about this powder, I do recommend it. Obviously, I'm including this video for a reason. I absolutely love this. Um, it's just so expensive, but to be honest, it is worth every penny. Next is a bronzer that I have been absolutely loving, and that is the Revolution Glow Matte Bronzer in the shade Fair. Now, I did review this new Glow collection at the start of the month, I believe, and to be honest with you, this is like the only bronzer I've been reaching for this month because I am so happy that Revolution have finally come out with like a fair bronzer. Like, look how light that is. If you've got similar skin tone to me, you have to try this. It is eight pounds and you get 15.5 grams of product in it. Like, do you know how long lasting that is? I absolutely love it. It's super affordable. It smells incredible. It has a mirror in here. Like This is an amazing drugstore bronzer for fair skin. I know they also do very deep end of the spectrum bronzers as well. So this collection for bronzers, very, very good. I highly recommend it. Recently, I've just been on the hunt for more bronzers. I feel like I don't have 
as many bronzes in my collection as I thought I did and when Revolution come out with these I just thought absolute bonus because I love Revolution as you guys know and for them to come out with a fair bronzer is just perfect and I'm so glad that they did. So yeah I literally cannot rave about this enough. It is just incredible. Everything down from the packaging, the amount of product, how cheap it is, everything about it strongly strongly recommend and it's just perfect for fair skin um i think this is a dupe of the charlotte tilbury bronzer as well so if you can't quite afford 39 pounds for a bronzer check this one out for eight pounds next is a pair of lashes that is going to come to no surprise to any of you that watch my channel on the regular and that is the revolution roxy eyelashes so these are stunning these cost eight pounds but they are incredible this is what the packaging looks like and then these are the eyelashes so if you like that more cat eye effect eyelashes and you don't want to spend an absolute crap ton of money on them definitely check this out i love these lashes so much i literally use them all the time obviously not today because i wanted to keep these ones in the packaging while i showed you them i do know of a revolution 20 percent off discount code which i can leave down below so if you do want to check these out but want to save a little bit of money with them i will leave that code down below um these are just stunning these are like the best quality lashes that revolution have um admittedly i haven't tried their like fluffy wispy ones but their older ones that they first released were kind of more of that like plasticky cheap looking lash whereas these are just amazing i love them probably my go-to lash if i weren't wearing these be per <laughs> if i weren't wearing like what is um, that is just so rude if i weren't wearing these be perfect ones i would be wearing these because they're just incredible absolutely love them if you do like the whole elongated lash at the outer edges definitely check these out next is a lip liner that i have constantly been reaching for and this is by doll beauty this is in the shade run the world i can't remember if i've included lip the Dull Beauty lip liners in my recent favourites. I cannot remember. I definitely did include it in last month. Okay, so I didn't last month, but the month before that I included the Boy Buy lip liner. But recently I've been loving the Run the World lip liner because if I just swatch this, I mean, it's very hard to show you because I have made it very blunt but it is like a dark brown lip liner so i've been loving this especially because i do a dark brown lip line which i have done today and then i'll just throw on like a lighter lipstick on over the top so today i have the uh, beauty bay lipstick in the shade freckle which i did put in my last month's favorite because it's just such a beautiful lipstick by the way i have bought their most recent brow products and i love the gel because it's a fiber gel i know it's completely off topic but i love the fiber gel it's so so good it gives you your brows texture pigmented the brow pencil is a little bit hardly pressed but for like four pound fifty i think it's an absolute steal so yeah love their new brow products um and they're just beauty bait as a whole all of their makeup is stunning and i just cannot get enough of it so yeah, anyway, um, the Doll Beauty Lip Liner, this Run The World shade, if you're looking for a dark brown lip liner, definitely check it out. They are expensive. They're like £8.50 each, which is just insane when you can just go Primark and get one for £1. But if you do want to treat yourself to a bougie lip liner, definitely check out the Doll Beauty ones. And lastly, I wanted to include a palette from the Friends Free collection that come out um, at the start of this month. And I've decided to put in the We Were On A Break palette. This is the more rainbow colourful one. It is so, so beautiful. This is definitely my favourite um, rainbow palette in the Forever Flawless range. That's with Revolution, did I mention that? Um, it's just absolutely stunning. The, the colours in here are beautiful. The shimmers are really nice. I love the look that I created with this palette. I have obviously done a review on this. If you want to go and check that out, I will leave it down below. But yeah, this is probably my favourite palette that they did in the third drop. Just because it's so brightly coloured and fun. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. These palettes are £12 each. But again, I'll leave a code down below that you can use on Revolution to get these for a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, as a whole, I really loved the drop free of Friends and Revolution. But this palette is my favourite out of the ones that they launched. So yeah, love this palette. If you're looking for a new rainbow palette, let me just show you up close. If you're looking for a new rainbow palette to test out, then I would highly recommend this one. It is just a 
absolutely beautiful. So guys, those were all the products that I was loving throughout the month of April. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Let me know down below what products were you loving throughout the month of April. I would love to know and of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!